You show them right on the newspaper, taking the furniture out, getting rid of it. You have, if I take your habitat from here, you'll die. You may not react to a poison, but you'll die. The same in this, in this building. Take your habitat. It's a stupid little piece of furniture and caulk up those beds. That's all. You know, and put tape on them. I, I did it already in three rooms. And it works. Everyone's out, and whoever wants to 
wants one underneath, has to buy their own and put it underneath. Well, we had to buy our own heaters. Yeah. Well, right here, they buy their own dressers. We're talking about it. We're talking about it. We're talking about it. We're talking about it. But the dressers, I mean, those are already there. I mean, they are like a great group with every dresser across the country. Well, what if I'm on an individual basis? Uniform. See, now it's not an individual. Now it's not uniform. It's individual. Well, here. People can, some people can't. Understand. Stay in the front of the board uh -huh. or not at all. And that's how you have to approach me. See, it's good that you're coming to me because with Jack and all that, they're not even going to listen to you. It's kind of create a good situation for some, but not for everyone. Or a bad situation for some, but not for everyone. Because it's going to be a good situation when it doesn't have that bus and a bad situation that don't have that bus. So the guys that don't have that bus get penalized and they lose their storage. That's me. Exactly. Exactly. So figure out a way to a for everyone. If we lose it and everyone agrees, that's one thing. I'm just giving you ideas. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I mean, we're going to keep experimenting with it. The problem on the sixth floor is getting out of hand. Honestly, anytime you can't walk down the hall without stepping all on them, for God's sake. You know, um, I think that's... Because all the time I lived up there, until he moved up here, we didn't even know what a bed bug was. In fact, when I first started getting bitten by him, yeah. I didn't even know what that was. I stopped going to the park because I thought something in the park I was allergic to. I just happened to run into a guy who lived here, and he asked me about it. And I said, no, I don't have any. He says, well, have you get, been getting these bikes, this, that, and the other? I said, yeah. I looked on the internet, and that's exactly what it was. He told me how to find them in my room. So I found the blood drops, and sure enough, there they were. You know, this guy across the hall looked like they had a gallon of blood on his bed. <laughs> the heat works until about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. All of a sudden it goes to air conditioning. And everybody thinks it's because the windows are open, but I checked from in the gym. No window is open. The windows leak heat. That's why when it snows, there's water running on underneath all the windows of, of all the rooms while they're closed because they leak. My father ran a business doing this. Okay? The windows on the rooms next door to me are not open. I know for a fact they're not. Okay, so... I'm not screaming about the I, heat. I got a heater. I asked you a question, and you, 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 you're over-talking over again. I asked you if you said that anything to Jay. Yeah. Yes, okay. So, yeah, she's talking to Jay. And Jay, I know I'm talking to Sarah, which means I'm going to have to be somebody over. But she's talking to me, too. So, which rooms are affected? I would much... I would much rather not even exterminate anything up there because you're wasting money. You could take that money and buy some routers and we can have the internet in the building. That you know well as I do. There's two, there's two things that'll get rid of the um, bed bugs. No habitat. No habitat and food. Get rid of the people in here and they're not going to live. Yeah. Right. But you're, you're ignoring that fact. The big elephant in the room, there's food here for those bed bugs. They will hide somewhere else. Yeah, but look at... you got to take every piece of furniture out there. I've seen them grow in the windowsills underneath. You're taking, a, you're talking about taking away the drywall, taking away the closet. No! That will hide I took that one piece of furniture out of my room, crossed up my bed, and sealed the exterior with clear yeah. tape, and I don't have any problem. And I've seen other people doing the same thing. They will only live, they will only live so far. Stop over-talking. Okay. Stop over-talking. I've seen it happen before. We've taken things out of the room, and totally shut things down, and then it only does. Have the room that's totally free clear personal. And then they still come back and wonder why. They live in your personal property. Because we're in the world, we're communicating with each other, we're going here, we get people from the front, they question, they question, they question. So my advice to you is this you know where a lot of our guys, a lot of the guys come here that are homeless. Right.